Good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. I woke up at 6.30 this morning, promised Harry that and we could- And bothered me. I said, if you get up and we get to Joe's by seven, we can get home before our package gets delivered because we're sitting, babysitting some packages. This whole week we've got some uh, confidential things that are gonna be going back and forth and uh, we have to wait for them when they get delivered and we have to sign for them. So, uh, we didn't get to prick our finger because I had a new plant on my counter. I watered it last night, unbeknownst to me. All of this sucked up the water, all of the containers and stuff to our finger pricking. And the units else. were wet. I'm hoping they're dry, they'll dry without being damaged sort of like washing your wallet yeah is what happened yeah and all, these, all the paperwork and everything on the table got, was, got soaked. was soaked so yeah. anyway you guys so don't let wendy water your plants yes. if she ever comes yes. over anyway you guys we are on our ways to joe's and when we get back we'll share so um you guys come back in the next segment this thing is soaked I mean, it is. All you gotta do uh, is set it out in the. In, it is. That. It's. It's. It's like soaked. Just, I'm gonna set it out in the sunshine. In the Arizona sun, it'll be done yeah, in like I think three I'll, minutes. I think I'll put them both on the table because they're just all of this stuff. I'm not even gonna turn on our devices yet to make sure that they've just come undone. I'll put those outside in just a minute. But you guys, I decided. Um, we're back. We're back. <laughs> Uh, I am going to have my yogurt because I just had three poached eggs, bacon, and sausage. Harry had a hamburger patty, bacon, and eggs. And we're going to insert that right here. Hey, everyone. Good morning. It is very early. I got up at 6.30 a.m. For some reason, my brain was going crazy. We have a package coming from the post office that we have to sign for. And who knows when that's coming. They usually get to our house in the early afternoon like one or two but i don't know because we have to, it's a hurry up and wait thing so harry i enticed him to get up and come over to joe's they open at seven yes, so yes the one day i'm sleeping i'm doing in. my omad this morning i've got three poached eggs and a sausage patty and three slices of bacon Yep. We have got a movie tonight that we're going to go see with Paula and Al, and then we're going to go out to dinner with them. I'm not eating tonight because I'm eating right now, but uh, Harry's going to eat, and we're going to oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll, see I'll them. Eat first. Well, don't we had to rearrange our entire schedule because of this package that we have to sign for. So we have to stay around until that happens, and um, yeah, so... We're gonna eat now. This is my OMAD, and I'm gonna go run home. And this is Harry's. Harry's got a hamburger patty, three slices of bacon, and three eggs. Hard to believe, I know. And then I'm gonna run I'd home. Make a change. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna run home and have a, my bowl of yogurt. Um, we, we don't live far away, so it'll be in my one-hour eating window, with you guys. But I've got Arbuckle coffee with a little bit, a splash of cream, stevia, and now I've got my Redmond salt that I carry with me in my purse, and I am going to eat. You know, um, we've got a lot of stuff in the background happening as far as with my husband's um, uncle's estate that we're dealing with in California and stuff, and things have to come back and forth, and we have to be there when the papers come because of you know all the good stuff that we're dealing with right now so anyway you guys gotta eat now yes indeed so we're gonna have a yogurt we are meeting uh paula and al we're gonna go see 65 65 million years um we're gonna meet them at the movie theater after after uh, uh I think it starts at 5 p.m. So my package should get delivered before then. Better. Should be able to sign it all because it is coming USPS from the post office. Priority signature required. So I'm hoping we get all of that done. This is going to mess up our whole week. This whole week is going to be messed up because we've got to sign it. We've got to send it back. It's got to go to California. Then they're sending me other stuff. Then we got to do a Zoom call with all of the people that are in on this will with the bank and all this oh, yeah. 
stop. Yeah, just... We have our Vita we have to supposedly go get. They didn't get our delivery for our roll down windows screens and they're gonna try to get those in. So we've got a whole bunch of stuff that needs to be done and somebody has to be here kind of a thing. But anyway, I'm gonna make some yogurt. Yes, I am. And then I'm gonna make more yogurt uh, today because we only have a little bit left, Harry. Ooh, I, know. I didn't know that. So, so are you gonna continue on with the yogurt then if you decided? Well, yeah, I think I am. You don't want it? I want it. Yes, I love the yogurt. Are you kidding me? I love the yogurt too, so I'm gonna make I'm some today. I'm just asking you because you're the boss. I'm the boss. Well, let me go figure out what flavor we're gonna have today and we'll be right back. I like the court gesture around here. You know, the guy who has a little pointy hat, little bells on the end, you know. All he does is stand around and tell t stupid jokes. I kind of do that, don't I? It's cookies and cream. How do I look? <laughs> it's cookies and cream time. Yes, it is. Oh my gosh, Harry, you're so cute. I'm really worried about our machines. I hope my Keto Mojo isn't killed with water. It's not. Let me, it's get, fine. Let me get two bowls. Watch your, you always, watch your side. FedEx just drove up. The dog's bike. Yes, it is. Yes, Oops. everybody gets some kind of wheeled apparatus here at the house. It's our wet. Here, we turn it over. Everything is in our living room. Is it that heavy? Yes. How are you our, going to pull it? You are. <laughs> It's the Wag Along Pet Trailer. Let's see. Sal, it's your bike. You're going to have to put it together. It's bigger than you, like three times bigger this than you are. This thing is heavy. Look at that thing. It's bigger than you. Yeah. Ow! Oh, look. Oh, see? Ow. That's what, what I get for letting her do it something. It on my toe. I said no better than that. <laughs> Honey. Yes, it is. It's not it's freaking hilarious. Can you? Ow. Ow. We'll be back. Ow. There will be pain. Did I break a toenail? Uh, That's oh the important God. part. Huh. You are. When you guys, you're, you're fabulous. I, my toenail is saved. I may have a big bruise on my toe. I'm serious. That thing is heavy. That thing is heavy. Oh my gosh. We are having. Cookies and cream yogurt. How much assembly is required? Frog alert. Harry. What? No frogs allowed in the kitchen. <laughs> I can't help it. No frogs allowed in the I've kitchen. Been yogurt. We don't want no stinking frogs in the kitchen. Yeah, I call it yolk fart, but you know, that's pretty much. Well, every time I please eat yogurt, no I, no rudeness. I'm I'm busy. I'm I'm form I'm fermenting over here. <laughs> <laughs> You're yeah. frogmenting? Yeah, that's it, frogmenting. I think I'm just going to put a little bit in today. Yeah, okay. You, you want to see if it changes it some? Yeah, I don't know. Just, I'm just, I'm full, but I want my yogurt. Okay, here's my yogurt. So how much are we getting? Why do you, why do you ask it? The same thing you Because I, I love being so, disappointed. The same amount. How many do you think you're getting, Harry? Six. How many ounces do you think you're getting, Harry? Six. No. You get to have dinner tonight. I'm not. Four. Yes, four. You're right. I knew it was four. I just keep hoping that maybe, you know. You got to make some more of that. Yes, I do. And you like the Power, Instapot? I, I like an Instapot one. Well, I'll do that right after we um, eat our yogurt because I got to eat in my one hour eating window. And don't forget, you got to put the dog thing together. <laughs> mm-hmm. Sure. The dog bike. Yeah. The problem is, is the white bike got all set up for you and now you want the black bike and I want... I did not set I, that, that... See uh, that thing on the front? It would not be on there if that was my bike. Silence. I'm counting. Don't go I too high. You get confused. I can only go to 10. <laughs> <laughs> then, I, then I have to start over. Uh -huh. I go 10 and then I hold this up and then I go 10 more and then I hold this up. That's one what up. I do. Especially when I'm trying to make space. That's on, what I did when I was little. You know, yeah. I had my own abacus. 
Yeah. They were the fingers. You know, that's pretty good that you even know what that's called. Because I have no idea what that thing is called. But you know what I'm talking about. Yes. It's like when you read a book, you can read all the words, but ask to spell it, forget it. I, you know, forget some of those words. You can't, I can't spell. When you get into the big words and stuff, I'm like, but I can read them. But I can't no, you spell know, them. You know what's very scary? You in the morning? The, besides that. <laughs> the first astronauts that went to the moon, the guys in NASA sitting at their desk were using Slide rules. Slide rules. Yeah. They did not have calculators. Have you ever looked at one of those slide rulers? Do any of you guys remember having those things? My brother You talk good. about a language all its own. Holy moly. Oh, he took classes on that thing. You had to. And you know, he could do it. It as, did everything. He could do it so fast. It did everything. Those guys were good. Yeah, that's when men were men. <laughs> that's when men were men. Okay, here we go. We're going to have our um, keto chow with cookies and cream in our yogurt, and then we'll be back, and I'll make some yogurt and share. We have had tons of people insta-messaging me, email me, commenting me. Can you please show how to do the yogurt in the Instapot, or please show me how to do it in the sous vide? Also, people say, do you like the sous vide better than the Instapot? And what are the differences? So I thought I would share all of that with everybody. Now, I'm not going to make a batch from scratch. I'm going to seed it with yogurt I already have. You can follow the instructions that are in the book for the yogurt of your choice for the Supergut book. But my yogurt is already done, and I'm going to seed my new yogurt. My, I'm going to make um, three quarts in my sous vide. I'm going to make three quarts in my Instapot. I'm going to set them all up. They're going to be done at the same time. I'm going to show you the differences in consistency in 36 hours when that's done. Okay? So, you guys... Let's get started. So I have my Instapot. You want to sterilize everything that you have, everything that you use to make sure you're not uh, contaminating the yogurt. So I am making, this yogurt that I made is the Super Gut. It's El Ruderai, Cassie, and Casseri, and Osforte as well. So those are the ones. When you just do El Ruderai, you need to cook it at 100 degrees Fahrenheit. If you are cooking with the Cassie, the Caseri, and the other um, Osfortis, you need to cook them all together at 106. You can cook El Ruderai up to about 106 degrees, and that's okay. And um, all of the yogurts together work best at 106 degrees, according to the Super Gut. Dr. Uh, William Davis's book. So that's what I've been doing and it's been coming out great so far, so good. So what I'm going to do is take my yogurt that I already have. Some of the whey is separated from this. If you look inside, I don't know if you can see that, but the whey is good. Now, you need two tablespoons per quart of your yogurt. And it's very forgiving. You can use more. There's no big deal. I'm just putting mine right in. So like one, two, that's three, four, five, six, because I am making three quarts. Now, for my batch in the sous vide, I'm going to do the same, but I'm going to put it in this measuring cup. So I'm just going to do one, two, three, four, five, six. It doesn't have to be exact at all, but you want to make sure you have at least two tablespoons each. You can have more, but try to have at least that amount. Here, Harry, you want to eat this spoonful? Now, I'm going to put this spoon away. And I'm going to put my yogurt away because I'm done with that part of it.
If I were making this from scratch, I would put some of my half and half or your dairy medium, whatever you're using. If you're using coconut milk, if you're using half and half, if you're using um, um, Fair Life, if you're using regular milk, whatever you are using for your medium to make the yogurt, I would just pour some in. It does not have to be exact. My Instapot has lines on the side that tells me where the quarts are. So I know I can get three quarts in there. This in the jar, I'm gonna fill these to about this line. So I'm gonna do these first. So I've got my yogurt in here. I'm just gonna pour some of the um, milk in. There's not an exact amount. It's half and half. Well, if not for this. You just want some in because you're gonna be mixing either inulin or acacia powder. I've got acacia powder. You need two tablespoons per quart for your yogurt. So since I have three quart jars I'm filling, I need six tablespoons in for my sous vide. One, two, three, four, five, Now I just want to get this and just stir it up really well. I'm going to add a little bit more um, half and half in mine. And I find that acacia fiber um, dissolves better than the inulin. Anyway, make sure that it's stirred up. I kind of look at the base of my um, whisk to see if everything is... Um... So the nice thing is, is since I'm making two, I just put my whisk right inside there so it's not contaminated. And then I just pour evenly into my jars. So I just kind of count one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There's also lines at the bottom. One. 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 A little bit. A little bit. If there's a few little lumpies, it's no big deal. And basically, now, I just put the rest in, and I like to fill mine up to where the jar is just um, getting narrow. Come here and look, Harry. Leave some room for your jar so that the yogurt can expand in your jar. And there's lines you can follow on the jars as well, you guys. But that looks pretty good. Maybe I can add just, what do you think? That look pretty good? Yeah, it does actually. Actually, let me look at these because the little lines, see how this right above the top of the line? Then I take my mixer, go inside the jar and just give it a whisk. Since it took a quart, a half and half gallon, I'll measure it there. But I'm going to put this here. I'm going to put the lids on. Um, Do just, you put them on all the way? Or? I put them on all the way, just hand tight. Hand tight. 
pan tight, put them in the water, got my sous vide in the bath. I don't like them touching one another. I'm just picky. Now I want to fill the water up right to or right at or right below where the yogurt is. I do not want to fill it up past the yogurt line and I want enough space between the lid and there so that you don't contaminate this with the water that's in the bath. That's why I stop my yogurt a little bit before the top. So I have a little less than a, uh, a quart jar full. And I just get a container and just pour my water in. Watch where my water line comes to. Right to the top of the yogurt. I mean, it's just uh, like a sixteenth of an inch below it, isn't it, Harry? Yep. I have my sous vide. Is it plugged in? Yeah. No, it isn't. Well, no, you got to plug it right. in. Right. I'm going to plug my sous vide in, first of all. Wait a minute. I bought this container. Um, you can get bigger or smaller. It's a lap AVI, and that's the size. The lid is separately. Um, they're a little expensive, but I feel that I'm going to be doing this quite a bit, so it's worth it for me to have it all ready to go. Now, this has been pre-programmed. It's a Bluetooth. It's already on to 106 degrees. It's already set for 36 hours. So I'm plugging it in. It's set at 106 degrees for 36 hours. The water needs to come up to temperature. So I'm gonna leave this right where it's at before I hit on, it's, all, it's off, but it's ready to go. Now, come over here. Since I'm not sure what this maximum fill line or how much that is, and I want uh, to fill up three jars, it's just easier for me to put some half and half in here. See, come look at my yogurt that's in there. Yogurt's in there, I'm just gonna pour some in. What I'm trying to do, since I didn't think about that, I'm just going to put probably about that much. Now, I'm going to add my, um, I'm going to add a little bit. So this is just one quart. I'm measuring my quarts in here, but I need, I want it thin enough and a lot in there so that it will dissolve my um, either inulin or acacia powder. And this is acacia, I'm making three, so I need six tablespoons, two tablespoons per quart. One, two. Oops, that wasn't very full. Make a heaping one. Five. Four. Because you. Honey, just go. Four. Right. No, it's okay. Sorry, go, keep going. How much was I, that? I don't know. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> I don't know. Because you stopped and said, oh, it wasn't a heaping one. Are you going to do a heaping one? Okay, you can't tell me to stop and start, Harry, honey, when I'm counting. I didn't tell you to. You're looking at me like I got the answers, and I don't have the answers. Well, you guys, I don't know what it is, so I'm going to put half. How's well, that? Look on the recording and see, you know. Okay, let's look, please. All right. We'll be right back. Thank God we can do instant rewind because I need to add one more tablespoon, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's senior moment. There, six. That's six. The inulin or acacia powder in this case is what the enzymes, what the probiotics live on and culture on over the next 36 hours. Now, I need two more of my quartz containers. Oh good, so that is two. So then I can go up to three, looks like. 
So I'm gonna go right up to three on the line inside. I just wanted to get the measure. Three is where I'm going, you guys. There you go. Said three is half full. There's the three. Okay, now all you do is make sure that you can't feel any lumps in it at the bottom. Inulin, you can feel lumps longer. I do not heat mine. I don't do anything. I only use half and half. I don't mix mine uh, dairy products at all. See, this is pretty good. Now I just put my lid on. Lock it, let me plug it in. There. Now this one, come over here. I'm gonna start mine right here. It's on, it's green, that it will bring it up to temp to 106, then it will do the countdown. It won't start the countdown until the set temp is 106. But you can tell it's on. It's got the green light on and you can see the oscillation of the water. On this one, I'm going to hit yogurt. It's already set. My temperature is set. And I'm just going to start. And this We'll bring it up to temperature and then it will count down 36 hours. So both ways, it's not going to start cooking until it's up to temp. This is already set to 106 degrees on my yogurt maker. I have it customized, set, ready to go. And you can save your favorites so that they're on there and then you guys, in 36 hours, we're going to come back on the next video in 36 hours. So two videos, right, Harry? All right. And we will share the differences between the two yogurts. But I use the exact same seeding from the exact same jar of yogurt. I use the exact same brand of half and half and all got the acacia uh, fiber powder as well. So it's same across the board, just two different ways to cook it at the same temperature for the same amount of time. So you guys, let's come back in 36 hours and we'll check on this from time to time. Anyway, you guys, I hope this is helpful and we'll see you guys in the next segment. Okay. You guys, I just got my keto chow order. I'm very excited. I just cut it open. I'm out of everything. I mean, I, yep, totally out of my minerals. I have been putting, I, I'm out of my daily minerals, oh, so I ordered more. Bowls, yeah. And something that I really like in my coffee, okay, hold on, is my electrolyte drops. I have been doing my electrolyte drops in my coffee, and I'm almost out of this. I use this and a, one or two drops of stevia, and it really makes the coffee taste really good. So I've been using that every day. So I'm out Ooh, and I'm excited because we got the small one. We have to have something for Arvita and I want some of the little containers for when we go with our bikes, right? I got Yeah, because more. we gotta pedal a lot. We do, we need electrolytes. Need electrolyte drops, need some magnesium. You know, it's that, actually, it's the turn of the wrist on the throttle. It's, that does what wears me out. They have reformulated the fasting drops, you guys, to higher sodium. We're taking this with us in the little container. See, I'm going to have all three. When we're riding our bike, we're going to have a backpack. Because it's electric and we can go 60 miles on a charge, we're going to be away from base camp. Well, and we're going to be 60, uh, depending on the hills. But we're going to be further away than if we were hiking and stuff. And I want to have something like this in my backpack along with my water at all times, just in case, because we live in the desert. Yes, we do. But I'm excited about this. Yes, I am. I got my big one, too. 
you know, I got to have some for Arvita and some for me. So I'm going to take the little one in Arvita. You can refill these. I know how to pop the top off. Right, carefully refill mm -hmm. it. Use this one as my big one to refill everything. But I'm very excited. I don't have magnesium drops in Arvita. So this is great for going to sleep with, for going yeah. to bed with. If you have any cramps, muscle cramping, even if you're walking and we're going to be using our leg muscles more um, because we plan on pedaling with our bikes, don't we, Harry? We're going to pedal too, not just sit there and let the bike do all the work. So if you get muscle cramps, this not helps answering. relax your I can muscles. Answer that question. I know you're not. <laughs> you are terrible. But Harry, you're going to love it. Guess what I got? What did you Guess get? what I got for you? Peanut butter chocolate, because oh, cool. he loves this oh, yeah. in his yogurt. The peanut yeah. butter chocolate is his favorite. So we got peanut butter chocolate. Yes, indeed we did. My favorite chocolate toffee. Gotta have some of those. More chocolate peanut butters. And we split this up between our Vita too. We have some in our Vita as well. Sorry folks, my phone rang so I had to go see who it was you know I'm telling you I wonder if we could block Washington calls because our phone number is Washington State we get spam calls from Washington all the time all the time anyway yes we give our keto chow um, surprise box away every month to some lucky winner and by the way uh D Dalton I have not seen is it D Dalton let me go find out I got chocolate I got chocolate. Hold on. D. Barton, we have not seen an email from you. It needs to go to loving it on keto, just like our name at gmail.com. I'm going to give you another day or two. I may go back and try to find you in a comment because you normally I don't tell people in a comment because there is um, spammers out there, but I don't want you to miss out on your keto chow surprise box because you're the winner. And today was supposed to be the last day. So let me look in my email. Look, let me look in my spam because I have had the winners go to the spam folder before. But I need you to get a hold of me, D. Barton. Please send me another email. If you think you've done it already, send me another one. Okay? So I just want to share that. Okay. Sorry. I just wanted to share that. see a green on the bottom okay I just wanted to check the packages chocolate and peanut butter are Harry's chocolate peanut butter are his favorite mine's favorite is chocolate toffee salted caramel caramel macchiato we like banana I've got a bag of blueberry pie I need to bring out and change that over but anyway you guys I was really concerned because of the minerals because we go through them, I, we use them in our morning elixir or our evening elixir, depending on um, what challenge I'm doing. We fill up a 22 ounce container of water. We put our minerals in, we put our uh, iodine in, we put our real light um, electrolytes in. We do the whole thing. So anyway, you guys, I'm very excited about this. Yes, I am. And don't forget, we have a discount down in the description below for Keto Chow. For all of the things we use, we always ask for a uh, discount if we can get one for you guys so we can pass on savings to you. But anyway, I've got to put all this away. But Harry, look what you get tomorrow. Chocolate peanut butter. Mm -mm -mm. Fun. Mom, mom like chocolate. And I love banana. Banana pancakes. Banana egg custard. Oh. Banana egg custard is so good. It's so good, huh, Harry? Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys, come back in the next segment after I put all this away. Oh, Arvita, that's right. Arvita's not here. In case you guys haven't seen our table and the bikes and all the stuff we've got. She's supposed to be ready, fingers crossed, on Wednesday. I'd love to repack her and get my stuff out of my living room, my lawn chairs and outdoor carpet and a ladder and all the good things. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Harry. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you guys, see you in the next segment. I'm so excited. Yeah, we got the fasting drops, which we should have with us at all times in our little backpack. We need to each get a, a little pack um, for our bikes to put all this stuff in. 
you guys, we're gonna close out for today. Um, we are going to go see 65. We're gonna meet Pal, uh, Paula and Al there. I'm very excited about that. So you guys, we'll check on the yogurt from time to time, but we'll check them both and do the side-by-side -side consistency, the look, the taste, the texture on both in 36 hours, but they're both going right now, so that's awesome. Hey, you guys, please remember to like, subscribe, ring that little bell, give us a thumbs up. We'll see you right here tomorrow. Sally, where are you? She's sleeping. She's doing long puppy downtime. Mm -hmm. Yes, she is. She goes, we got up early this morning. Sally is not a morning puppy. No, no, no She gets way. up, she goes and does her business, she gets to drink water, and then she goes to her bed on the couch, and she sleeps there. She's a noonish puppy. She don't want her breakfast in the morning. Nope. It's very rare that she does. She'll come and have coffee with her papa and lay on and cuddle with him on the blanket, but she just wants to finish trying to get her out of bed. She oozes. Anyway, you guys, see you guys tomorrow. Uh, good night.